doing? I hope you're having a wonderful week. Can't believe, where's the week going? It's Thursday already. I know, craziness, isn't it? Time flies, it really does. So today, hi Tracy, hope you're doing really well. I am gonna bring to you some exceptional deals now, like silly deals, really. Um, again, thank you so much for joining me last week. Absolutely incredible feedback and how much everyone loved them beautiful papers. Hi, Roxy. Thanks, my sand girl. Oh, my beautiful Roxy. Hi, Audrey. Hi, Mark. Hi, Karen. Hope everyone's okay. So, remember that beautiful mixed collections of papers. Um, hi, Debbie. Lovely to see you as well on this delightful day. It is, really. It's lovely and bright. The snow's melting now. I don't like the sloshy bit. Muddy boots everywhere. All of that business. Um, but, yeah, it's still lovely and bright, isn't it? So, cheerful heart, cheerful day. So what I want to talk to you about today is delicious 12 by 12 papers. But do you remember we only had them in certain styles last time? Well, due to demand, we are going to be bringing you the handmade papers. In 12 by 12, we've got the red collection, which is this one. Again, with that exquisite sewing, we've got the embossed. Look at that. Beautiful. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Elaine with the foiling and of course double sided now if I just turn this one over this is from the red selection so you've got that beautiful foiling on one side but look compressed flowers on the opposite so don't always think it's what you get you get 36 sheets of each absolutely exquisite quality it's fabulous isn't it and when you cut this as well you don't get the fray it's beautiful but of course if you want the feather design absolutely perfect with that so that's one of the items. So the 12 by 12, 36 sheets of the gorgeous handmade paper that's made in India is available today, delivered for £9.99. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you. Second thing, I do love an embellishment, do you? I love them, right? Sometimes they can be a bit fickle because they don't match and things are not perfect and the price as well is massive. Hi Sue, hi Linda. So, what I want to bring to you is a really special deal today. Now, this special deal on um, embellishments, now it's a 10 pack of embellishments, so it's all mixed and assorted, contents do vary, £4.99. Now these usually retail at £2.99 a pack. So I'm just going to show you a couple of the ones that I have. I'm going to be using them today. So pop along, have a look absolutely fabulous 10 packs of embellishments so you've got charms in there you've got sentiments you've got gems you've got oh, some lush lushness but you'll see them on my demos in a minute but for 4.99 delivered today 10 packs okay also again we have got the beautiful gorgeous books i wanted to show you this is the one that i made with my little sydney absolutely stunning and you've got all of them handmade papers in there and don't forget you can take them apart as well and use them so that's just a couple of bits that I want to show you before we start but now I have to show you a scrapbooking page I've been working on this is brilliant so of course with them papers you can have that gorgeous mulberry edge create your flowers die cut with it exquisite absolutely perfect but them embellishments i know we haven't got a lot at Daunt manor so if you are looking into getting them i'd get them quick if i was you but i'm going to show you a little scrapbook or one using them exquisite embellishments and just a few bits of the papers as well from the 12 by 12 handmade but also we've got a really good deal today like silly deal silly deal i'd be double purchasing personally and what this is is a seven kilo seven kilo of embossed designs metallic pearlized all a4 loads of different weights 16 pound delivered that usually retails 60 to 100 pound we're selling it today for 16 pound so really limited stock i'd go ahead go on the daughter manor website click on the facebook link today and get yours quick because i know we've got a handful left literally of them but let's get scrapbooking i'm going to turn you around now friends so you can see exactly what i'm up to so here we go oh, 
it's saying I'm not turning it round. There we go. Yep, yeah, we are on. Okay. So this is where I'm going to start with this beautiful, oh, look at this. Look at how stunning this is. And what I always do to back mine, I always save these 12 by 12 cardboard um, fronts and backs that you get on your paper collections. And I always glue these papers to them just to give it a bit of um, sturdiness. But also then it works perfectly to go straight into a frame. You could put um, oh, uh, hooks and eyes on the back and then add it to decorate. Really, really simple. So that's this for, oh, look at this paper. Isn't it? Just take it in, look. It's so pretty. Not only has you got that iridescent, gorgeous flick in it, you've also got that soft, really gentle tones. It's so textured, isn't it beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. So if you're into mixed media, this is perfect. Next, what I'm gonna do is just add a couple of bits that I have here. So first of all, I've just got some teal cardstock. Plenty of cardstock if you go for the seven kilo, remember? And I'm simply going to lay that just in the center, really, really easy. Next, what I wanna show you is this. Now, everything's covered in glitter today. I don't know if you can see that beautiful wood stain embossing on it. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, this is just one of those beautiful papers that come in the embossed collection. So let me just show you a couple of these. We have our, um, almost honeycomb effect absolutely beautiful you've got your dipple effect on there as well you've got that gorgeous wood tone that i was just showing you there we go and what i'll do is i'll show you quickly with a little bit of ink to show you how to bring that alive so i just use this bit that's going to be on my project i'm just going to grab a little bit of ink not too much and then i'm just going to sweep it across it and can you see how it just grabs straight away on that most delicious design of that wood stain absolutely beautiful so if you love that mixed media effect you love that feel or white on white cards have that texture ready to go so i'm just lightly inking around these edges to pull this together for my page so now let's come back and you can see that wood grain detail that we have there absolutely beautiful and that's just one of many different pages that you can get in the seven kilo. $16.99 delivered. Can you believe that? Silly price. So I'm just going to place that straight onto there. Next, I'm going to take this. Now look at this. This is beautiful. This is infused cotton. Absolutely exquisite paper. Now you can really work with these. These make great boxes. They're just so flexible as well. So if you create your own mulberry flowers, these will be gorgeous. And again, having that little sort of flash of uh, luxury in it, isn't it really? So next I'm just gonna pull this down, really, really simple, just over here. I've also been taking out and using, now I think this is one of my favorite papers. It's so funny, isn't it, how you change what papers you love from one week to the next. It's crazy, but I do, I absolutely love this. And I'm going to place this just here and I'm gonna use foam pads. You'll notice as well that no matter what medium you place on the back, it's fabulous, it works, it does what it says on the tin. Now, next I'm gonna add a gorgeous little photo of my baby Sid when he was little, obviously. He's not that small anymore. And um, this frame is actually fabulous because this is an oval frame and it's available from Laser Cuts, uh, Laser Cuts Group. And I will be demoing for them today at 3 p.m. And they're very good friends of Dalton Manor, so I thought I'd just pop that on as well. So I'm just gonna add some adhesive to the back here to add my picture on. Absolutely fabulous. Honestly, everything just works so easy. It just flows together. The papers are exquisite. You know, there's so much you can do with them and they all really mix and match. So now having that gorgeous little photo in that frame, and this is an MDF frame, and when it comes to you, it's completely nude, no painting, and all I've done is covered it in some Nouveau Mousse, super simple. Next, what I've done is the flowers, I've actually cut away from this design, and I'm gonna build up 
some floral detail. So one behind, one in front. Really, really simple. Now look at these. Aren't these exquisite? These are some of those fabulous, beautiful little um, um, embellishments from that collection. So 10 packs for 4 99 Absolutely brilliant. So I'm just adding a couple here. I'm going to add one there. And I think I'll grab a gold one, you know. They are so luxurious. And don't forget as well, you can really mix and match with embellishments. So if something is not particularly what it appears to be, you can also cut them down and mix them together. So I'm just going to add this one just here. So they look a little bit like lanterns, I think. Really, really pretty. So now I'm just going to be adding some scraps. Now these are ripped scraps from the paper collection and I'm simply adding texture. Really, really easy. I've also cut out a few more of these beautiful designs to add in as well. So I'm just gonna pop that one, sort of tucking through at the top there. I've used that fabulous um, wood grain embossing on there. A Little bit of a mix and match, add a pink in there as well. And this is how simple you can build up your projects. When you've got great products, it just makes it so easy. It really, really does. So also I've been doing some die cutting. Again, look at how fine that beautiful word is. And that's been die cut from the Mulberry beautiful um, handmade paper. So I'm gonna add this in now. Just across there, I've got sweet. That's gonna go up here. So you can just build it all up together. Absolutely beautiful. I've also got some little embellishment details. Again, from the laser cut group. So see these embellishments? Also, look at these, all oh, your charms as well. It's fab, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. So I'm just gonna add a couple of these little charms on now, really simple. If you just add a little bit of wet glue onto your mat, you can either pick them up, rotate them over, pop them in the glue, pick them up from the glue, and we will just add to that project. Super simple. Now these papers, how exquisite are these? So different, so unique, beautiful textures that you can use time and time again. I'm just gonna add one more little gem down there. Oh, it does need more, more, more gems, more gems, golly. So I'm just going to place this one over here, making sure, yeah, that's better. That's the one that I wanted. And there we go, how simple and easy was that. Right, let's have a little chat, my friends. How are we doing? Are you okay? You love the frame. There we go. How simple and easy is that? Using those exquisite papers, as well as that fabulous, beautiful embellishments. It's so easy, isn't it? Super, super simple. So, next what I want to talk to you about is them red papers again, absolutely beautiful. So uh, don't forget, they're 9 99 for 36 sheets, really, really beautiful. So, and remember that embossed. <gasps> Do you wanna have a little, I'll have a little flick for you. Hopefully you can see the design, I don't know if you can, but you've got so many different styles Oh, look at that. I'm going to be using that one as well in just a minute. But look at that. <gasps> it's so lush. So pretty. So let's move on, my friends. Now, we all love a bit of 12 by 12, don't we? I love a bit of 12 by 12. Do you like 12 by 12 white cardstock? I mean, complete white cardstock. Not top design with a little cream bit in the middle. I mean, fabulous. 100% white core cardstock. Yes, please. Do you like it in a big wedge? So when you get it, you know you don't have to like stock up soon. Look at this, 100 sheets, 12 by 12. 
exquisite white paper today delivered <laughs> <laughs> which I can't quite believe. It's 250 GSM, 100 sheets, 11.99 delivered today. We also sell it in A3 as well. So if you're a scan and cutter as well, absolutely fabulous. And that is 12.99 for the 200 GSM, 100 sheets. So if you need lots and lots of beautiful white card stock for your base cards or your construction cards, Go ahead and get that today because honestly, the amount I use is unbelievable. It really is. So, what can you make out of a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock? Well, oh, bash, I can make a lot. The first thing I'm going to show you how to make today is a double twisted easel. Really, really simple. So, I'm going to turn you around now, my friends, and let's get playing, okay? So these are all my bits. First of all, let me just move this to a side. So 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Fold it in half, so you've got six by six. Then fold it up top to bottom. This will give you your four six by six panels. So you've got your two six by six cards, if you, sorry, if you need that. Or you can do what I do. So fold it over fold it over, score them lines, make them really, really crisp. Then just cut down from the very top down to the middle. Then you're gonna take your uh, cardstock, fold it out a bit like a shirt collar if you like. That's the way I always remember. And we are just gonna crisp that. Now look at this white cardstock, look how crisp it is. Look how beautiful it is for construction. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut another two six by six squares. And we're actually gonna adhere them here and here. So I'm just gonna do that now for you and show you exactly how to create this. So now I'm gonna go straight up, I'm just using my wet glue here, onto that triangle, and that will be your mechanism. Make sure you've got it really flush to the edge to make sure that it will all go flat, absolutely perfect, into your envelope when you're ready. Then exactly the same on the opposing side. It's beautiful, isn't it? So white on white projects, this is brilliant. But if you're like me, a decorator. <laughs> so now when I pull this up, and over, just make sure them folds are working. All of a sudden, I have created a double twisted easel. Hopefully you can see where I am with this. So now we get to decorate. So I have been using these most exquisite papers again. So I've taken my 12 by four, first of all, on this embossed, beautiful heart. I mean, just look at that. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? And that is part of that 36 sheets of handmade paper, 9.99 delivered. So I'm just gonna take my tape off the back and I'm actually gonna stick it in half. So this just stops it bowing in the middle. So I've folded it in half, hopefully you can see, and I'm working on the bottom piece of my project. So I'm going across and I'll just make sure they're down. And then I'm just gonna pull this up. I'm using Galago tape, it's a really good um, acid-free strong tape. Um, but you can use wet glue, whatever you prefer. So I'm just gonna take that off and then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna squash it shut to make sure that we are in the right position. So you can do it that way or you can go, um, if you do feel a bit more confident with it, you can just go straight on. So now I'm just gonna take this. This is six by three and a half. Again, just make sure you're in that center panel so it will fold over. There we go. So now we've got these beautiful panels ready to decorate up here. So let me show you what I've been doing. So again, I'm gonna take that beautiful, gorgeous heart embossed. I love it, I really do. Honestly, if you could wrap me up in it, I'd be more than happy. And it's so heavy, but so malleable that it's just exquisite. It really, really is. So now I'm just placing that straight on to my card blank. And then I'm using that white cardstock again with that 
beautiful emboss and I'm just going to lift this up slightly using some uh, foam pads. Really, really simple. Now, again, the great people at um, the Laser Cup Group have sent me beautiful designs. Now, this is your heart doily. This is £2.59, I believe. Um, absolutely brilliant. And they do loads and loads of different sizes. So I'm just going to add some tape to the back of this so I can adhere it to my project. So I've just glued that in, that beautiful embossed hearts on the inside. And I'm just going to place that like so. Next, now them beautiful embellishments. Now look at these. You've got all them beautiful little coils on there. I'm just gonna grab a little paintbrush and give this one more of a curl. And you can really build up these layers. That's what's so beautiful about them. So for them embellishments, sorry, my cat just jumped on the table. There we go, that's 10 packs that you are getting for 4 dollars delivered. Next, I'm just gonna add some of my sentiments. Again, I've cut it on the white cardstock and that beautiful red that comes within the red 12 by 12 collection. Next, I'm gonna move over to my other side and start coloring and decorating this side. So again, I've got that embossed. It's beautiful, isn't it? If you sell handmade cards, having this sort of style of paper, honestly, you can charge such a higher premium for them because they are exquisite, every single piece. So now on my next layer, again, lifting it up with a tad of foam. Super easy. And we shall finish adding all the beautiful decoration. So imagine all these handmade papers, all the different styles that you can choose and use. Exquisite, isn't it? So now up here, what I'm gonna do is I've also got, I think I might pop that one down there, you know. I think so. So I've got my sentiment. I'm just gonna pop a sweet at the bottom there. Nice and easy. And again, that's done on the handmade paper. See how beautiful it die cuts absolutely fabulous then i've got that gorgeous oh it's so pretty i'm just going to add this just down here quickly on top of a heart that i've got already just to lift it up slightly but i'm only going to stick it down one side now the reason why is because it's vellum and i don't want you to be able to see that so what i'm going to do is I'm also gonna add this. So now I've got them beautiful embellishments. Again, just give them a twist. Flick them till they fit perfect. And then I'm just gonna add it at the bottom over that glue that we popped on there earlier. I've also got some fabulous heart MDF shapes as well from the Laser Cut Group. But this paper is extraordinary it really is i'm just going to tuck that little wooden design behind there and then one more up here just to tie it all together so how are we doing my friends i hope you're all doing <laughs> you can't resist are you on the naughty step mm -mm. okay so let's have a look at that double twisted easel that I have created using the most exquisite handmade papers. How fabulous is that? It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. So how simple, and of course, that all goes completely flat down into an envelope as well. It's so cool. And of course, I think if you send cards like this, these are the kind of cards that people keep up for ages because they're really different, aren't they? And really unique. The papers are just so beautiful to use. And of course, that white cardstock, 12 by 12, 100 sheets, 11.99. <laughs> How cool is that? So what I'm gonna move on to now is I'm gonna create something else using that white card salt, but also include, it is so easy, Roxy. It's so easy, honestly, super simple. Let me show you some more samples that I created before 
using them fabulous papers. We've got mats and layers, different styles. Remember that texture? Absolutely exquisite. It just feels so yummy. And remember as well, you can hand paint them beautiful. This was the scrapbook page that I did last week. See how simple it is. It's just beautiful, absolutely exquisite. So the next project I'm going to move on to is what else can we do with a 12 by 12 piece of white cardstock? Don't forget, like I said before, 11.99 delivered today for 100 sheets. Madness, isn't it? Absolute madness. Oh, glad you got the red. Did you get the red, Alison? Well done. They're so pretty. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next project. And what I'm going to do with this project as well is I'm actually going to post um, uh, an instruction template for you straight after the show because you may forget how to make this. But honestly, it's so much fun. So I'm going to turn you around now and let you have a look and see what I'm up to. So here we go, my cutting mat. And a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. I've taken the 12 by 12 and then what I've decided to do is I've actually just cut off because sometimes some companies, especially Dalton Manor, are extremely generous and it is just slightly over 12 inches. So what I've done is I've cut this down so it's exact 30 centimetres, 30 centimetres. Then what you're going to do is measure your folds, so three lots of 10 centimetres to square that up nicely. Then we're going to turn it round and each box we actually want four score lines, three score lines, sorry, of 7.5 centimetres in each box. So once that's done, this will be your base because then what you do is you cut portions out or use them as flaps. This will be your main piece, the middle piece, and then we choose from there. So you could have, for instance, I could cut down uh, this line here really nice and easy down to the middle and I could cut that out completely or I could leave it in or I could even fold it over in half to create a um, pocket I could do that. So let me move you on to where I am with mine. So don't worry, I will take a picture of this and I will post it after. So what you can do as well is you can take complete pieces out from it to give you spaces. And what this is going to be is the most cutest little book you will ever have and once you get to make them they are fabulous so if i was creating from this bit i would probably take out for instance this bit i may add additional layers to this and then maybe take out this bit as well so let me show you where i am now i've done lots of decorating on mine using them beautiful embossed papers so let me just pop it all together and show you so here we are we've got them fabulous mats and layers but when you open it so can you see from that base sheet how this can turn into this and of course just add a uh, mountain valley fold if you want to add additional layers in again using those little pieces you can create pockets very very simple and beautiful you can decorate it all and just really really enjoy yourself tie it together with a piece of string makes the most beautiful keepsake whether it's of photos whether it's family and what I'm going to do now is use just a handful of these beautiful decorations that come with them embellishment packs now again when you open them they're ready to go some of them have adhesive on some don't but I don't mind, to be honest, because if anything, I do prefer my own adhesive on quite a lot of things because then I know it's going to stay. So I'm just adding a tiny bit of adhesive foam pad, in fact, on the reverse of this beautiful little embellishment. Now, how darling is that? So I'm just going to pop that there. I'm going to open this up now and we're also going to add some others. 
Now these embellishments, you can really, really mix and match. So for instance, if I wasn't happy with maybe this heart on there, I could take it off, put something else on there if I preferred. I could add flowers, whatever I wish. So again, just add a little bit of adhesive and we shall start just placing things together. It's beautiful, it really is. So not only have you got that fabulous, gorgeous, exquisite embossing, which is from the seven kilo pack, yeah. I kid you not, seven kilos for 16 pound delivered today. How cool is that? So I'm just gonna carry on adding a few of these beautiful little embellishments to my project. Now don't forget as well, so we've got the 10 pack of that fabulous embellishments. Contents are varied for 4 99 delivered. We've also got the 12 by 12 white card stock, 11 99 delivered. Oh, shall I have some flat? Oh, I don't know, I just don't know. But see how simple you can start to create the most exquisite little books. Honestly, these are so much fun to work on as well. My mum carries one in her handbag. It's her Nana's Show Off book. And of course, I fill it to the brim with photos of the children. So there we go. And then it's simple, simple fold together and around and we are done. And you can just tie that together with a piece of string or you can use a piece of ribbon, depends on what you prefer. But from one 12 by 12 piece of paper, you can make the cutest little book. And of course, remembering all of this beautiful mat and layers, even this one, look at this. So you've got, it's almost like a faux leather effect, but on a matte paper, then you've got that damask, isn't it fab? And the exquisite little embellishments. Also, don't forget the base, which is that fabulous white cardstock. Right, let's have a look at you, friends. You need, to, you need to try this. Honestly, it's so lovely to make. It really, really is. So it all goes together. You've got this beautiful little book. And then, of course, you can make cascading down from there if you prefer. And then you can open it up and up. There we go. It's so cool, isn't it? And I love using them embossing papers. Now, let me just flick through quickly some of these beautiful embossed papers. So I showed you earlier multiple textures absolutely exquisite it's beautiful and don't forget as well it's a seven kilo can you imagine when that turns up you'll just be like oh, i'm not going out ever again i'm crafting forever um also we have got the fabulous beautiful background papers again in the black we've got the multiple colored which is the rainbow set we've all oh i didn't show you this one did i look at this how beautiful is that? It's so gorgeous. It really, really is. So as a recap, my friends, remember we've got that beautiful 12 by 12 papers that I've put somewhere. Oh, down here, here we go. In This is in the red, but we've also got them in the black. Don't forget, we've got them beautiful little journals as well. Take all of them papers out and create something absolutely amazing. So don't forget, friends, pop along to the Dalton Manor website. Have a look on there. Just click on my icon of the Facebook Live and all of them brilliant discounts will be applied to you. Remember, we've got the 10 pack of exquisite embellishments as well. Um, for 4 99 contents are varied. Um, again, we've got the 100 sheets of the white card stock. 11 99 12 by 12. 
good is that? I know. Then, of course, we've got the handmade papers, which are these 12 by 12, 36 sheets, 9.99. The seven kilo embossed pack of cardstock, 16 pounds. And I believe, my friends, I don't even know if it's all sold out. I really don't because it's been really absolutely busy this whole show. Thank you for joining me, my friends. Should we just have a quick look at the two projects, the three projects that I've made today? Let me just grab them because I've popped them on the table ahead. So the very first project that I made, let's just have a quick run through, is that beautiful, gorgeous scrapbook. All of the different papers in multiple layers. And again, you've got that fabulous wood grain on that cardstock. You've got that fabulous frame from the laser cut group. Don't forget to die cut all these exquisite papers absolutely beautiful again we've got the double twisted easel using that white card stock the 12 by 12 card stock the fabulous handmade exquisite papers and again then gorgeous embellishments then the last and final project was my little show-off book really really easy i just pull this bit up here and here and you can see there i will post a design of how you can very simply create this after the show thanks for joining me take care my friends of yourself and each other and i will see you next thursday here at one take care see you later bye